I'm Sarah from Jimmy Bean's Wool, and today we're going to go over how to do the purl stitch. So you are an excellent knitter by now. You just learned how to cast on, you learned how to knit, and you can make garter stitch anything. But you're ready to move on, and so the next stitch you need to learn is the purl stitch. So I'm going to show you that today. Today I'm working with Cascade Superwash Merino and Jimmy Bean's Wool Smart Sticks, which are super convenient. They're marked every inch, so it's a little ruler that you have with you at all times. And the inch markings go all the way around the cord as well. Um, so I have already cast on 10 stitches using the long tail cast on method, and I've turned my work. So I'm ready to knit going across this side. Um, and I want this to be in stockinette stitch. So this row, which is the wrong side row, needs to be purled. All right, how do I do that? The first thing I'm gonna do is move my tail yarn out of the way and grab my working yarn and tension it in my right hand. I'm making sure that my ball of yarn is to the right hand side of me so that I don't accidentally tangle anything. Then the first thing I need to do is insert the needle. So for a purl stitch, you're gonna insert the needle from right to left. And you wanna make sure the working yarn is in front of your needles. So I've got my needle inserted from right to left and I'm gonna wrap my stitch counterclockwise around that right hand needle. And I'm going to pull that through. So I'm gonna insert the tip of my needle from right to left, just like this, on the front on top of this needle to make a little X. Then with my working yarn in the front, I'm going to wrap the yarn counterclockwise and pull the stitch through to the back and off. Insert my needle to the left, so from right to left, wrap the yarn counterclockwise, put the needle through to the back and off. So let me just do that a few times. And what I'm doing is I'm using my left thumb to stabilize this needle while I move the yarn around. So it's a little messy, but you can see um, I'm moving those stitches, purling them along. When I come to the end, I'm just gonna continue, insert my needle from left to right. Nope, insert my needle from right to left. Wrap counterclockwise and off. So you can see I've now got a little row of purl stitches, which you can tell because it creates these little bumps at the bottom of the stitch. And that's how you purl. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing because we have a lot more yarn reviews, tutorials, and other fiber fun like that. Happy crafting!